became world champions. They've gone through this process. Now, introducing the boxer, fighting uh, from the blue corner. This is a young boxer coming from the Atokwashi Boxing Gym under the tutelage of coach Vicente Aka Nete. The name of his father is Joseph Quay. The name of his mother is Adiza to Ayuba. And this young man is attending Bishop Mix Primary School. And this is the boy who is called Professional. Presenting to you the boxer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Chas Patti Switching over to the red corner. He's well known on television. He's done it before. And this is the moment he's looking for. This is the box up from the World Park here in Accra. The name of his mother is Matilda Ahiadu from the Voto region. The name of the father is Daniel Labi. He's attending Kitty Class Academy. The name of the coach is Daniel Labi. That is the father. His nickname is Priest the Bas Labi. Presenting to you the man who looks very, very energetic today. Let's put our hands together and scream and welcome the boxer, Prince Labi. And the man in charge of this fight is Martin Fachi. So let's get ready for the final bout. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Prince Labi in white. We've seen on this platform uh, not, not uh, less than once. And uh, he's taking on Charles Partikwe. I understand this rivalry comes from within their locality. In, uh, Seconds James out. So Wrong. Let's, let's see how the what? two boxes uh, fair. Here we go. Round one. Party quit, taller of the two. It's got a long reach. And obviously, Prince Labi will be the predator throughout the fight. A very good show. Tries to uh, catch. Party Quay in the corner. The party Quay is quick. These two boxers give a lot of hope when it comes to uh, development of uh, boxing in this country. First of all, they, they, they love boxing and they have learned the rudiments of the sport but second and most importantly they're all in school and so they have not left out education in their build up to become credible boxers well prince you've actually hit the nail right on the head the crowd are loving it and you talk about education both academic and then boxing education. And it's a family tradition. It's a area, community, you know, tradition. And a lot of people have been educated by this. I remember when we first started, there was a lot of uh, criticism on social media because people do not know that this is actually a tradition. And in fact, in some communities, they let them fight bare fists and they grow to get into the ring. And this is something they've been doing as an art for many, many, many decades. And it's great to see these two young kids in school being tutored and also being tutored in the arts. It is an art of boxing. Well, you can see uh, from the round one from this juvenile fighters, uh, when you look at Prince Labi, he's in the mood of Mike Tyson. I, I, I'm, I'm presuming that is his role model because when you look at how he switches to set up his punches, it's really, really good. 
for a young fighter to be doing that on that international level. That's really, really good. That's and even if you look at the way he delivers his punches, clearly, one, he's the aggressor. Yeah. And two, he likes to take charge. He likes to take charge. And you see, when you're fighting with such a fighter, you'll be facing a lot of difficulties because his ring craft, how to cut the ring and put pressure on you is going to be difficult for you. But when you look at what Charles Patekwe is also doing, he's relying on his long arms. So he doesn't give Prince yeah. that, that, that moment to, for him to connect more. So what he does is try to give a stiff jab before Prince can also land that power punches. So it's really, really incredible to see these two fighters trying to size themselves up really, really good. Let's see what happens in this round. Quite an explosive fella, uh, Prince Labi. But again, I like the movement of uh, Party Queen. Moving around, making use of the space in the ring, and obviously getting himself out of trouble when trouble beckons. That's also some quick thinking. finds him, uh, himself in the corner and again Prince puts him into the corner see how he walks out of trouble very quick on his feet as well and you see Prince that's what I'm talking about from Charles he's very very quick swift because he knows when he lose that Prince is gonna hurt him and that's very good thing and really boxes giving out that quick thinking and giving out smart boxing we have a lot of prospects in these young ones but doesn't his, doesn't his style rather make him a target than Prince Lang for his opponent? Yeah, yes, I, th I think that most of the coaches, I mean, we must say kudos to the trainers. Um, a lot have seen that Prince is that aggressive type. So they train the boys to, you know, be careful, do the movement. And these are young guys, so they do the movement, they don't get tired. So now, the trick is that don't let, don't, uh, uh, ensure that you don't get Prince to hit you. So you drag and then you, you Throw your your your, your and, and the last exactly round party is doing. Mm. Prince is coming with all the energy. Party is using a lot of techniques. It's moving from one place to the other and throwing the, the, the jabs, throwing the high punches, and it's working for him. Yeah. And there again, you saw the party walking out of uh, trouble. Nearly got caught by the ag ag uh, the aggression of uh, Prince. Bounces back nicely. You know, whenever these juveniles are fighting, there's one technical aspect that most of us don't look at. We look at height and reach. And that is where, I mean, Patty is using against Prince. Prince is very fast, he's very quick. He knows how to cut the ring into the size that he wants. But with the reach and height of Patty, is making Prince difficult to have his game plan. But he's fighting very, very well. Party is giving him a good run for the bout that it has been called for today. These kids really entertaining the crowd here. They appreciate the quality that they've seen so far. They're still up and coming. They're still in the juvenile ranks. Obviously a lot to learn. But given clear indication that the future looks good. Earlier on, we were just confirming the fact that Honorable Neil Ante Van der Poel has ensured that Prince Labi, together with Ablo, have their education sorted out. 
to whatever level. Yeah, a very, very good display indeed from these two young boxers. You could see what Charles was doing. Trying to bait Prince to come into the inside game because he knows when Prince get into the inside game, he's gonna use a swift jab and counter launch on him. And Prince too is very very smart on that occasion. He knows when he go in, give his punches and moves away. Goes in, give his punches and moves away. That is very very good from these two young fighters. And I mean, as I, as I keep saying, the juvenile contest is what I really love because you see the talent and it's up to us to do what to nurture it and develop it so that they can get into the international it, it, It's also a good idea that they've been, they've been caught at this young age. Yes, of course. So they can monitor the process exactly. of their growth. Exactly. So they, one, they don't go wayward. Two, they can still concentrate on both boxing and education. Thank you. And then three, given the, 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 the ring craftness that they've exhibited, yes. it's easy, it should be easy for us to build their confidence exactly. as they grow in age exactly. to ensure that one, we can get some good quality fights for them, two, we can expose them to the rest exactly. of the world, exactly. and by so doing, turn them into world champions. Exactly, I agree with you with the points that you're giving their friends, and you see the monitoring stage, developing them, nurturing them, giving them the kind of fights that will challenge them. So that when they get up to the world stage, they know that they've gone through the ranks. They've met this kind of fights before and they know what to do. And for this initiative that GBA and IMAX have brought on board, it's a really good ah, one. Incredible. So, the, the, the first vice president of the GBA, former boxer Rapun Dodo, is here. Shall we put our hands together for him? Wonderful personality. Now, I'm waiting for the verdicts. Now, waiting for the verdicts. So official down uh, here. Waiting for the verdicts. Guests Let me go who are here with us. Very Mr. impressed Isaac, Chet, 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 with uh, what they've seen the so sentence, far. How do you feel watching these young kids? The last time you watched them today was an amazing. Just brief for me. Well, uh, thank you very much. It's very interesting watching these young boxers coming up with the type of boxing skills that they have i'm so impressed and i think we need more of them to be able to get champions in the next 15 years in ghana so thank you very much for the young ones thank you very much chichi brothers uh, do we have the chairman of promotion here aladi tofik please join us chairman of promotion aladi tofik kindly join us now let me hand over the microphone to the man willing to hatch is the man behind all that we are doing here. Al-Hakti Fadi Fatah, he has been amazing. We are praying for him to travel to Saudi Arabia. Pray for Ghana. Pray for our sports personalities. Fadi, a comment brief on what these kids have done. Uh, good evening, uh, good morning. Uh, I mean, uh, very fantastic. We have two uh, good young uh, talents coming up. We are very proud of them. Uh, we are as well glad with all the dignitaries uh, around here today, giving the support and the general public. I want to wish both of them the best in the soon future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fadi Fatah. Now I have the verdicts. We want to thank our sponsors for what they have done for us. IMAX Promotions, Ghana Boxing Authority, the GBA president. You will have the final words. When you say it, we we'll now come out with the verdict. The verdict is very interesting. We bless God for the night. Yes. We ask God blessings for the young boxers. Uh, you can see that we have a future for Ghana boxing. Uh, if you have young boxers like this, bring it out the talents in them. All that we have to say is thanks be to God for their lives. Yeah. Okay, now I have the three judges call card here will be judge one scored about 29 to 29 judge two scored about 29 to 29 judge number three and this is where it's very interesting are we going to see a winner are we going to see a winner now the judge number three also scored about 32 30 so the fight is a draw
Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So, thank you very much. Now, 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 I have this kit here. Prince Tete. Uh, you want to speak English? How are you? I'm fine. Did you enjoy the fight? Yes. Why did you enjoy the fight? I'm proud of the fight. You are proud of the fight. Congratulations. Now, are you happy? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, good. So now, what message do you have for your colleagues in school? What do you want to tell them? I want to tell them to them. I want to tell them to them. God should bless them. God should bless them. So, what message do you have for your fans? I want to tell them that they should keep supporting you. Keep supporting you. Now, I have some challenges here. Ablo, Ablo, you are also fighting, okay? Hey, so what, what message do you have for your opponent? I just want them, I just want to tell them to train hard because I'm training hard. You are training hard. Are you saying you are the champion? Yes. Are you sure? Okay, let's have this man here. What is your name? Ransford Lai. Oh, Ransford, how are you? Are you also ready? Yes. You want to fight? Yes. Okay, this is the man who is going to fight Mohamed Ablo, right? There's the opponent. Probably next two weeks. Next two weeks, these guys are going to fight. And these are two talented boxers. They have the artistry and everything. Now, can you fight Mohammed? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Mohammed, can you fight him? Yes. Are you going to stop him or are you going to win? Mm, we'll see the fight. We'll watch the fight. We'll watch the fight. Now, shake hands. Shake hands and let me see. Okay, viewers, on this note, on behalf of the personalities, my name is Mohammed Amin Lamte. Today has been very fantastic. Thanks to Yampo Fankra, the commentators, Prince Anand, Cecil, and Nana. We thank everybody for coming. We'll meet you again two weeks to come. Stay blessed, but then be good. Okay, Neil and Tevonda for Honorable. He has given an amount of money to be given to the boxers. Yes, I have it here. 200 Ghana CD each. Two. So what are they, Prince? This is your money from Honorable Neil and Tevonda for what is your opponent? What is he? Aha. Uh -huh. Two Ghana from Honorable Neil and Tevonda Poy. He's a member of parliament. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you and stay blessed. Bien. I'm a true champion. It's been the MTNFA Cup Final. It's here again. Over 100 teams.